WAFDH. We know TFW is Texas Frightmare Weekend, but what's AFDH? <laughs> like I'm going to tell you now and spoil all the fun. It's worth waiting for, really. So dive in and hear stuff about famous monsters of Filmland, our favorite vendors, Drink with the Living Dead, and so much cool shit I can hardly even. 1-900-TFW-AFDH. Dial our number and let us give you the good stuff. Welcome to Pitney and Amelia's Bitchin' Boutique. We may be awful, but, but we're, we're right. right. Okay, you go, go pee peace. Happy Frightmare, everyone. Hello. Hello, greetings from Texas Frightmare Weekend. And as we are in the hotel, my husband and dog are going for, for a little pee-pee poo-poo walk. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Yes, All right, go pee pees. Go pee pees, which we normally wouldn't have to say, go but this, <laughs> that is how exciting, <laughs> that is how epic and exciting and special this this <laughs> Texas Frightmare has been. Because my husband came with me and my dog came with me and we are in Irving, Texas for the first time. In the new location for Texas Frightmare Weekend. Yeah, and I'm excited because I'm not only seeing y'all. Yes. But I'm seeing Trisha. Yes. And I'm seeing my friend Aaron. Yes. Who came all the way up from Austin just to see just me. Just a few hours ago, actually. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And we're just, we just came up to party for one day and we were going to party tonight. Yeah. And I'm going to go home with him tomorrow. But that's so cool that he came up just to see me. Yeah. And it's been um, a very uh, eventful couple of days. Yeah, yes. And yes, we yes. have so many stories, as we always yeah. do when we are here at Frightmare. And, oh, my God, like, I... I I think we need to start, we need to kick it off with something that happened oh. yesterday. We have... With the, the Trisha We stone. have a classic, epic Trisha von Lichtenstein story <sighs> that was amazing. Mm, 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 mm. I, I, it happened right there. And usually, usually they don't happen when the two of us are together. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Usually I'm not around, and uh, this definitely happened in public in front of strangers, and it was loud, and it was... Oh, it was embarrassing. It was huge. So, um, I, you know what? Um, this It's going to take some setting up a little bit, won't it? Yeah, well, just... okay. Because so, of the overall situation, yeah. the, the big sitch. The so, so, Trisha... Originally, you know, I never even thought of asking her to come to this con because she's not into horror, right? Right. But when it came that I was coming out to Texas, she's like, oh, I want to see you, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, come to the con. And that's basically how it started. Oh, great, I'll come to the con. And it's like, you know, it's horror. There's no, not what you're used to. But, oh, no, I just want to see you. And, you know, um, so that's that. Right. Everything about her, like, going to a con is not unusual for her. Oh, no. Going to this con makes no sense. Yeah, and she's actually really enjoying herself. But anyway, so she did not have advanced tickets. And she has deep-seated reasons, which I'm sure we've mentioned before, but let's go into that Yeah, so anyway, so last yesterday... Waiting in line to try to buy tickets for the weekend. But the weekend is sold out. So she could right. only get tickets for one night. But before right. that, because how dare they not have a person at the ticket booth before the con opens? They had right. a thing. You can still buy tickets online. Here's the QR code. 
Until the ticket booth opens because the con open. Because it's 2023. Yeah. And it is as convenient as possible. Yes, so... Because they don't yeah. expect a person... They don't expect a fucking Luddite to show up and expect personal service from a human. Uh, yes. Someone who's shown up with a... With a basket of shells and chickens. <laughs> yeah, someone who has shown up with livestock to trade for oh passes to the con. <laughs> because oh, yeah. she doesn't understand digital currency. <laughs> oh yes, and the outrage that she could not buy tickets. And so while we're standing Other online, than online. Yes. yes. So while we are, yeah, we're at Will Call oh, because God. of course our our weekend passes were purchased a year ago. I was going to say, a year ago, <laughs> a year at least. Ago. Yeah, yeah. For, for, not, for fucking cheap, because we did it on day one. But we're in a really long line with people who purchased them, you know, a year ago. And we're just hanging out with the cool people, you know. And <laughs> she comes storming across this area. Furious. Oh, yes, she was furious. Making a beeline straight to us. Oh. And says, Well, I am just vermin. Uh, yep. I'm garbage. I'm vermin. And all these people are like, Who is that crazy person? It's like, I cannot buy tickets unless I buy them online. And you know I'll never do anything online. And we're just like, (laughs) okay. Yeah, that that really did happen, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I guess I'll just take my cash money and walk away because Uh. I'm gone. Bitch, and I'm gonna, and they don't want to take my money. It's just like, oh my god! You yes. can, you can do. It's kind, of, oh man. I and mean, the thing is, though, her son got frustrated with her and ended up buying tickets online. Oh, is that how they did it? Yeah, getting their ticket. Of course they did, because, of course. Oh, because anyway, but yeah. yeah, but she's actually having a good time. Right. And she's here, and she's well-behaved, and she's having a good time outside of that. Right. So that's good. I mean, she still was grumbling about yeah. it today as we were walking around looking at the stuff that was outside the building. Because she was like, oh, well, yes, we can walk around out here because I'm not allowed inside the building. And it was just like... Well, it's like, yeah, because you waited the day of to get a ticket for something that's really something popular. that you is know. so yeah. huge that it... Keeps growing. It keeps outgrowing every hotel it's ever been in, and it is now potentially going to outgrow this gigantic convention center. This place is huge. It's like four stories, and it's crowded on every oh, level. It's not going to out. I don't think it's going to outgrow it soon. I hope not because I love it here. I. It's really cool. It's I love the really, convention really cool. center. I love the. I've always been anti anti convention center. A hundred percent. Versus hotel, but this is, I love it. It's great. As long as I can always be in this hotel. I love it. Which is directly across the street, and it's the cutest hotel. And, um, highly recommend the Texican Court oh, Hotel yeah. in Irving. Like, even if you have no reason to come Oh, to I Irving, want to stay here next year again, for sure. Yeah, I, I will do whatever I have to do to get on their special list to be like I get dibs I get fucking dibs I might not want to be on the first floor or maybe I'll be on the first floor but not next to the pool next to Oh me. yeah cuz you are in like Party Central you're right next to Party Central I wasn't Central. expecting <laughs> that there would be piped in music 90s jams um around the pool during the day sometimes in the late morning when my brain isn't functioning yet, and it took me a while to realize why why am I why am I hearing, um, you know, this is how we do it. Yeah. Why? why <laughs> yes. I, yes. Why yes. am I hearing? <laughs> yes. Why am I hearing? Why am I hearing? God. 
I mean, I I don't dislike the music, but it's like, yeah, why am I hearing these songs? I literally heard Funky Cold Medina three times yesterday, being oh out by God. the pool, which I like that song. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And you don't want your room next to it. No. I mean, this is, although I, I did develop the ability to, to, to tune it out. But, I mean, unlike the time that um, we were in Clearwater, Florida, and we had, we, like, oh, paid extra to get, like, a room that faced the water. And, you know, it was like when my family went down there and my husband and I got our own, our room, and I was like, I'm paying extra to get a nice room that faces the that faces the water and doesn't have a shitty view of a wall or something. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Not realizing, oh, this hotel has, like, a a bar... And they have live music in the bar, and we were directly above it. And oh. so, I mean, part of why when you're on the coast, when you're on, like, the Gulf Coast, you know, part of the beauty of being in a hotel on the Gulf Coast is, you know, you want to go to sleep at night, and you want to have your 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 balcony door cracked a little bit so you can have the sound of the of the waves while you're going to sleep. And it's like, not if there's a fucking... Jimmy Buffett ripoff oh, band. Oh God, yeah. You know. Well, you know, and they they usually have live music every Friday and Saturday here. But they haven't been. Um, I mean, it's only you know it's early enough where they they still could have it tonight. But God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not too. I, I I haven't figured out where they would have been where they would be doing it. Maybe it's over by the restaurant. Yeah, but I hope not. Yeah. So restaurant's anyway, good yes. too. Oh my god, everything. It's yeah. all good. It's all it's all fantastic. The pool is excellent. The, yes. The lawn area is very cozy and wonderful and comfortable and cute chairs to sit in and it's fabulous. Everything is just retro and cute and Mexican. Oh it's Tex Mexican. Yes. And it's just fantastic. His Day of the Dead celebrations are two weeks long. He once used a Ouija board to correct its grammar. He once played chess with death. Death suggested they switch to checkers. If he ever mixes an old-fashioned for you, you'll be inspired to write a creepy pasta about it. He is Edward October, the best horror narrator you've never heard of. Horror stories don't always have to be scary. The best ones invoke a mood of foreboding and existential dread. Fear is fleeting. I prefer to be haunted. For retro horror of impeccable taste, listen to October Pod AM bi-weekly wherever you get your podcasts. Or watch new videos from October Pod Home Video each month only on YouTube. Find all of Edward October's links on the World Wide Web at OctoberPodVHS.com. Stay spooky, mes amis. So let's talk about nudity and sexual situations. Yes, because Friday <laughs> night, uh, Pitney and Trisha and her son went to the dance. I did not, but they did. And Pitney met some woman who, for some reason, gave him a DVD, which is fascinating. Yeah, it's this DVD called Campy Horror. Four movies over six hours. And it is from BillZabubProductions.com. And they do have a table in the dealer's room. We saw And they do today. have a table, yes. Yes. But I got this DVD for free, and it has four movies on it. And the first two movies are so amazing. With their titles, I haven't seen them yet. We haven't yet. watched them yet, but we do have a DVD player, and we're going to look at them The first bit. one, Ass Monster, the director's cut. I mean, if you're going to watch it, you should watch the director's cut, I think. And then the second one, oh. Ant Farm Dickhole, the director's cut. Uh, have, have, okay, Anyone listening, if you have heard a title better than Ant Farm Dickhole, I want you to let us know because, I mean, I'm so tempted to name this episode Ant Farm Dickhole, but I don't think I will. Oh, I, God, I know. I. Uh, and then the third movie, Indie Director, The Longer Cut. Uh, 
And then the fourth movie, Exploitation, Normal Cut. That just, yeah. I don't think any of them can hold a candle to Ant Firm Dick Hole. You know, and it has, and one of the movie stars in this film is, you know, George Corpse Grinder from Cannibal Corpse. Oh, well, there you go. So you know if it has a member of Cannibal Corpse in it, it's going to be really high-quality cinema. I mean, that's amazing. Know. Do we know who this blonde is? Do we do we know what her name is? No. This um, attractive, um, mannish-looking blonde? That's uh, yeah, I don't know with her, with no eyebrows at all except for a pencil-thin line. Yeah, no. Yeah, and some serious, um... I don't know who she is, but she's, fish to- lips. she's totally a man. Because if you look at her, she's a man. Yeah, that's, that, there's some serious... I mean, which is fine, but yeah. She, she absolutely looks like, she, she just, her makeup job, she looks like... A fishy queen on on Drag Race. Oh, she totally does. She's very fishy queen on Drag Race. And, yeah, she's, anyway, so, yeah. With, like, the giant silicone boobs that are so popular nowadays with the drag queens. And I almost don't even want to see any of these, because you know they're going to be so horrible. They're never going to live up to But I want to fantasize what Anne Form Dickhole is going to be. There's going to be at least (laughs) one scene in that movie that is going to be... That is going to be acting the likes of which we have not seen since Alley Tran. Oh, God, I guess so. But it's like, if you like low-budget movies with cheesy effects, offensive humor, and huge amounts of nudity, then you might love this collection. I mean, that's... I mean, that just All of which I love, but yeah, it's probably... I bet it's so bad that it's going to be boring. It's very possible. But. And on and at their table in the dealer's room, like one of their posters that was hanging up says something like that their their movies are both stupid and smart. And I was thinking, I bet they're not that smart. Oh, I bet they're just stupid but I not smart. I bet they oh, think yeah. they're smart but they're not that smart. I mean, I don't know. They could be and they're, they're probably really fun, fabulous people. You and know. I hope the movies are like 30 minutes long. I really hope that they don't even try to but make I a am feature length. Very, very intrigued. Yeah. There's no reason. There's no Yeah. There's no reason. None. But yeah, but none. everybody ass monster and ant farm dickhole look them up. Maybe this episode could be called AF D-H. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we could work. I don't know. Oh Only god. the people who are listening will, know. will understand. Because, oh my goodness, yes. And anyway. then everyone else will be like, what? Okay, all of you. Hashtag Ant Farm Dick Hole. It's up to you. Whatever day you listen to this. <laughs> On whatever whatever form of social media you use, hashtag Ant Farm Dick Hole. We're all going to work together to get it trending. <laughs> oh my God. And, and then the poor people who made that movie are going to go, why? What is happening? Uh, how fabulous. And it's all going to be because of us. Yeah, and maybe George Corpse Grinder will make an extra... Nickel. You know, five cents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> talk a little bit about the dealer's room the dealer's room uh well like i mean like we've talked about like the the con has grown into an enormous convention center the dealer's room it's so big you can actually tire yourself out walking the entire oh yeah thing. And it, oh it's fabulous though. it's so 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 huge oh can we talk about how good ted Raimi looked you know yeah but he definitely looks Older, he's not. Well, he you know, is he older. doesn't look like my little jocker anymore. He does. He doesn't look like Miss Little Mister Sequest. He doesn't. No. He doesn't. But he does look good. He looks really damn good. I and mean, he's always in like a like a jacket and tie, and he always he's just he's so fucking cute. You God know, damn it! And I want to know how many times he talked about Xena today. I mean, I know I've talked about Xena a lot. Or do you think nobody even asked her about Xena? You know, considering that... uh, Because where we are is not where there would be a lot of Xena fans, you know. Well, considering that during the Thing panel, 
that even though there was limited time for people to get up and ask questions to the six members of the cast of The Thing, some of whom don't normally do cons. Uh I mean, Keith David has been doing cons for a long time, but you don't get Richard Mazur out there. You don't get these other guys. You know, I mean, this was such a good panel. I was so thrilled to be there. But some fucking fanboy gets up there and starts wasting everyone's time by asking Keith David, starts talking about his work on the cartoon Gargoyles and the voice work he did on Spawn. And it's like, we're fucking talking about one of the greatest movies ever Uh, goddamn made. Can you and your fucking cartoons go sit down I mean, you can go stand in line and talk to Keith David later. We're having a, a discussion about this about film. About that movie, yeah, yeah. Nobody... Yeah. And then someone else... It was like, all these people were like, I have a question for Keith David, and then they they want to be like, uh, what was harder to film, this thing from The Thing, or the fight scene from They Live? It's like, okay, that's all very funny. Oh, and the, the thing about... They were asking him about the thing with, you know... You know, taking taking the the job in gargoyles or whatever, yeah. and he was like, he goes, I it's I don't know if you're gonna like this answer, but when you're an actor, it's a job. Yeah, yeah, totally. They offered me a job. I I auditioned for a job, and they offered it to me, and I said yes because yeah. sometimes you just take the work you can get. But it's like, oh my god, you're you're seriously you have you have an opportunity to sit, to ask any question you want, and you have this panel of about a movie in front of you, and yeah. this is what this is that's what you went with. Sit the fuck down. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there in the audience next to a couple of guys from Canada, and the guy sitting next to me uh, lives just up the road from where they did a lot all the exterior shit. In Canada, oh, and apparently when they blew shit up, <laughs> they just left a lot of. They didn't oh. like go around looking for. They didn't like really clean everything up. Yeah, yeah. They just sort of left a lot of shit up there, and so he has like pieces of the rotor from the the helicopter they blew up, and he has oh, he has so shit cool. from oh my that God. movie because he just goes wandering around out there when the snow melts. And just goes around and picks up shit from the thing. You know, it's just like, that's that's amazing, dude. See, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. But that poor guy, he ended up having to leave that panel early because he had he had to go get in line to get to meet Sam Raimi. Oh, uh, well, that's important. Yeah, these things are important. But, and sometimes, yeah, that's you really know, cool. these things overlap and there's a lot of stuff you have to cram into a day. But I think Ted, I think he should have had a sign. I will not answer any questions in there unless they're about Xena. That's right. I know you all want to talk about my brother's films. Yes, but I'm but only I'm answering. only here to talk about, <laughs> about my role as Jocks of the Mighty. <laughs> or perhaps Jet, or perhaps Jace. Yes. <laughs> I will I will especially answer questions about Jace. <laughs> And anyone who's listening who knows who Jace is. Uh, yes. Extra points for you. Oh, <laughs> um, anyway. Well, I oh, hope somebody Jason. asked him about seeing it today. Bye, bye. Oh, let's talk, about, let's talk about the creature features. No, not creature features. Oh, the monster. Strike that. The famous, famous monsters? Of- yes, yes, famous monsters. Yes. So, um... Corey Taylor of Slipknot has bought, apparently, the old Famous Monsters of Filmland magazine. Magazine, yeah. With this British guy, I guess. Yeah. The guy's British Brit- because yeah. the guy who was here is a British guy and he said he was his buddy. Yeah, and we bought shirts from him and he was really cool. Oh my God. And we and, had a great yeah. chat with him and... He took a bunch of pictures of us. Yeah, he and, loved us. Yeah, he took our pictures. And, yeah. and um, as soon as he posts them, I've been looking at, I've I've hooked up between, you know, I've followed all their, so, all their social medias and and said hi and stuff. And um, 
we're probably going to end up on their Instagram account. As soon as that picture shows up, I will share it on ours. Oh, yes. Fabulous. But, uh, yeah. So, you you got... Uh, the shirt you got was so fucking fabulous with the giant fly. Yeah, and it was... It's actually like an ad of a giant fly toy. Right. Like, for those of y'all who are old enough to remember in, like, comic books yeah, and old magazines... Yeah, and it would have been, yeah, one of those ads of... Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the, like you could order... The giant, you know, six foot Frankenstein, or the X ray specs, or the whatever, or the the, the shockers in your hand, or whatever. Yeah, yes. but this was the giant fly ad on a t shirt. Like to buy a big rubber fly because it has like a suction cup yeah. mouth, and it's basically like a diagram of the giant yeah. fly with pointing out all the cool de- details, and it's just like that little tiny ad. From the comic book or from it's the on ad, a t-shirt, yeah. zoomed up huge on a com- on a t-shirt, and it's so badass. All their shirts are so yeah. cool. I mean, who doesn't want a shirt that says "Dracula"? Dracula died for us. Oh, sins. see, I love that. I mean, and ev- I, all their shit. And is had so I not bought, have I not my purple and orange Michael Myers Michael shirt? Michael Myers shirt. I know. I would have. Maybe yes. boss the Dracula died for your sins, but You're very cute. Hello, hello. Hi, puppy. Did we have a poop? I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> I'm taking that as a no. Okay. But yeah, but had I, I not bought this, are... maybe I would have bought that other shirt. That other shirt. Cute. It, but cute. it's been yeah. I got I got a Halloween shirt and a Halloween sticker. Yes, and you got some other good. Uh, Stickers from that vendor that those hilarious. Yeah, uh, I got. Um, you got that Jason. Jason, sticker. yeah, Jason sticker, but the, and then but the, my my favorite, the Captain <laughs> Spaulding. <laughs> what and it's a quote from the movie, but what is it? Just it's, it's some kind of fuck off. Thing, yeah, isn't it? it's a quote from the movie, but I'm trying. <laughs> I can't remember. But and it, it just made me laugh. It's the famous Captain Spaulding quote, and it's just like. You know, other than anything else, fuck you, or something so, to so, that effect. Yeah. But it's just... And it's really cool, but yeah. it, it especially makes us laugh because the worst person in the world looks, looks like Captain Looks just Spaulding. like Captain Spaulding, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. God. So good. But yeah, I... You know, and I really, really want to put that on my car, but I just won't. Because it's know. just... I can't put that on my car. I, I, I keep looking at I keep looking at stickers and stuff. Now here. this <clears throat> that Halloween sticker, my Mike. Halloween yes, Curse of Michael Myers sticker. I will put on my car. Oh, I think, but I think I'm definitely. not gonna put on the Captain Spaulding. I think that will look excellent on your car. I'm too old to have the F word on a bumper sticker on my car. You know, and I'm sure your mother would love. What will the neighbors think? Oh my God, she'd be like, "Pitney, what are you doing with that? What are you doing with that sticker? Why you got to put that sticker on your car?" <laughs> but yeah. yeah, anyway. Oh, and I also so there's there's this one uh, vendor, the drink with the living dead dot com. Everyone go look. So. um... Oh, do you want one of these? Oh, stickers? I do. They, yeah. Take one because they do. always give me multiple yeah, I stickers. Do. So they do um, etched like barware, mostly like pint glasses. Mm-hmm. And over the years, I have bought many pint glasses from them. But I have reached a point uh, where, if in order to get more barware, I have to, you know, pint glasses. I have to get rid of pint glasses because they're there is no more room. And I do remember that about your house, yes. Yes, I, I, the, <laughs> I do the remember sh- that. The shelf where, in my, the way my cabinets are, <clears throat> the small section of cabinet where, where we decided the glasses go can only hold so much. Yep. And therefore, glasses have to go. And it's like, you know, I have a lot of really, really cool and cute pint glasses. And... You know, a lot of them are, you know, came from places or are special for one reason or the other. And, you know, there's Star Trek ones and there's yep. Snoopy ones yep. and there's, you know, it's like, it's kind of hard to to do that. So, but I always go and I always visit their table, even if I can't buy anything, because I always want to see what their new designs are. And um, 
one thing they started doing since last year, because they definitely didn't have this last year, the guy has started etching on little chunks of granite. Like and which black are granite. really cool. They're yeah, really gorgeous. Impressed. And they're, yeah. you know, you know, like maybe like the size of like a piece of like bathroom yeah, tile. You yeah. know, no, no bigger than that. But the thing is, they weigh a ton. I mean, they're, you know, they're maybe three quarters of an inch thick or, you know, but that's, granite is heavy. Yeah. And they have a little hanger on the back. And he, you know, he just sort of picks special designs. And he, and, you know, and I'm always talking to him about the designs that he picks. And this year we were talking a lot about how, how he, he really, he's, he's very drawn to the kinds of, old, you know, well, public domain, but still, like, like a lot of these really old kind of woodcut, like woodcut, yeah, yeah, kind of really unusual designs of, from like old, old books, where like the longer you look at them, the more confused you get sometimes, yeah. you know, and, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, what you got was really cool, which, you know, so. and, and so I, I, there was like, it came down to two of them. I could not decide which one of them I loved more. And so I ended up just, I'm like, you know what? I'm just buying them both. Yeah. So we'll <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. I can't, I'm not going to buy glasses. This and year, I was I'm buying tempted two to granite. buy some glasses, but I didn't. And because, maybe one of these years. But you can always get them online and yeah, have them shipped Yeah, because I have a lot of vacation after this. Yeah. And uh, that it is not involving careful care of glass. You right. know what I mean? So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And they those guys are they're so I love the drink of the living dead guys. They're so cool. And uh maybe just maybe they will uh be listening and hopefully they will hear this. Hello. Yes. Hello guys. They we have our you. card. Hello. We're yes, that would be awesome. Huge fans of your work and we have been for many 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 years. But uh yes. And I hope Corey Taylor listens because oh, I want an ant farm dick hole poster signed by Corey Taylor for no reason. Like the way my friend John has a shoe signed you know. by Arlo Guthrie. You know, <laughs> because he found a shoe in the street on the on his way to the concert. And the thing is, you know, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I will say Slipknot. They actually scare me. They freak me the fuck out. They scare me. I don't like them. But I like him. I watch video. Yeah, I was gonna say I wa- I've watched videos of them. They freak me out. They scare me. I don't like. I know it. absolutely nothing about them musically. Oh, their music sucks. It's totally. <laughs> oh yeah, I hope he listens. It's totally noise. <laughs> you know that deep throated <laughs> kill your mama metal, right? Oh, I'm sorry. What was that other band you you, know, you told oh, me you I liked know. a few uh, about a month know, ago? Right? <laughs> what was that band called? Hate breed. Hate breed. Mm-hmm. But hate breed is so sensitive. Okay, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But Corey Taylor's actually a really cool person, from what I've read. I, well, no, Corey Taylor's very cool. He's, he's it, very but, cool. Yeah, he's really, really a cool person, but I cannot... Slipknot really just freaks me out. Right. And and Corey Taylor is absolutely not the guy who used to claim to be Corey Taylor, who used to try to scam drinks off of people oh, in Austin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, no, he's not. Who I've always wondered if... The real Corey Taylor was aware that this guy was counting on the fact that back then nobody knew what Corey oh, Taylor looked so like. Oh, that's so fucking crazy. And it was like, I'm pretty sure he's not a toothless hobo. Right. <laughs> who's always just like, oh no, I lost my wallet. It's like, yeah, I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's what happened. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Anyway. I did have the great, the great shopping. Uh, it was just, it was a joyful dilemma of shopping for my niece because ever since she was born, uh, I have been buying horror t-shirts for her yep. at Frightmare ever since she was since, an infant. Yeah, I was going to say since other infancy. Yeah. Yes, because the first thing I bought from her was a Rosemary's Baby onesie. 
at Frightmare. And that vendor is <laughs> here guess. again, and they had the Rosemary's Baby onesie again, and they also have an It's Alive onesie, which, which made fabulous, me laugh yeah. so goddamn hard. But um, but the guy who I always bought t-shirts from for her, who had them like from like one, one T, two T, all the way up to, you know, like what whatever like size like six or seven yeah. you know kid size I bought clothes for her up until last year and she is now graduated into size small adult hey but which a opened, lot more which opened possibilities up, yes. yes which opened up a whole new world yeah. for her but because of that she is also a child with opinions um, mm-hmm. but she is also a very smart child and a child with with taste and uh, she is also her father's daughter. And <laughs> Which is so good, yes. I asked him, I figured that she would still be in the market. I just figured it would not be appropriate for me to just pick what I wanted. Yeah. Anymore. yeah. And I was like, so what, what do you think would be something that she might pick out for herself? And when he said, like, Universal Monsters, yeah. I was like, God damn it. Yep, and she's I'm looking, so cool. I'm looking at these shirts right now, and they're really cool. Yeah, I ended up the first vendor really I, cool. I bought from. There were two shirts that I had it narrowed down to that were like kind of collages of all the classic Universal monsters. And my favorite one, they didn't have small enough, so I bought my second favorite one. Well, then today I was going around, and we one of the other vendors had the one that I liked the best, yeah. and they did have it in a small. So she's getting two. Awesome collages of Universal monsters that I love them both. And then if she I hates really... them, send them to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, because <laughs> they'll just be a little snug. Yeah. But I think they wouldn't be too bad. I mean, they're just a little snug. If she hates them, send them to me, and I'll do, and I'll wear them. <laughs> you'll just you'll just wear them. You'll just wear them skin tight. Yeah, he's just like yeah, baby. But yeah, not so much. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can just stretch them out a little bit. It's been, uh, it's just, it's been so much fun. It's, it feels like, well, it actually, for, for you and me, it's been since 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Since we've been to Frightmare yeah, together. It has. Yeah. Which is kind of astonishing. Which is kind of, yeah. That was the year of Tim Curry. That was the year. Fuck, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's just, I, it's. Hard for me to get it together to be able to come out. And then every time I do, something happens. Well, you I know? mean, like, because 2019 and then because 2020, it was, and then it was postponed three yeah. times. And then they had it in the 2021 was postponed until September of 2021. And then they had it, but it was a much smaller one. Yeah. And then last year... I came by myself, mm-hmm. but you know it. But that. But last year was the last time that you could use the tickets that was bought. Oh for yeah, the, yeah, yeah. What was supposed to yeah. be the twenty twenty? Well, I will definitely. I'll be here again next year for sure, and I hope it's, we're in the same hotel. Yeah, this hotel. But. That was that was another thing that um. Th- this hotel was like. Even without having seen it, everybody wanted this hotel. I mean, two of the three main hotels that they picked were directly across the street. Like, it, the convention center's on a corner. So we're across in one direction and the West End's um, the other direction. And But this one is clearly the cooler of the two. But it's also very small compared to the fucking oh, West compar- End. Oh, yeah, gigantic. compared, but yeah. Yeah, because but. this is obviously like an old Motel 6 or something. Yeah, but no, I love it, but I want to, yeah, I want to come back and stay here. But this, I mean, I'm sure the West is perfectly lovely. But. Oh, I'm sure it's great, mm-hmm. and I'm sure it's much more traditional con hotel. And yeah. I'm, and that's also mm-hmm. where all the guests are staying. And we are going to... Because um, they're not putting the guests over here. I mean, that would you be know, awesome. I'm, if, I'm like, planning you know. on with Trisha and Darren, we're going to meander the West End later. Ah. Just to see what's going on. To go see what room Ted Raimi is in. You know, because you never know. You or, know. You know. Or Zach Gallagher. Yeah. Or 
you know, someone. Yeah. yeah. Or, so really, just to get it, just to get a bitchin' in here, what's bitchin' is that even though a lot of people tried and could not get in the Texican court hotel, we did. Because we're elite, girl. We yeah. are elite. I mean, so many people thought they had reservations and then a couple hours later found out they didn't and sucks to be them. And I don't want to be an asshole about it, but I never, I never get, I'm always that person. Like, I'm never the person that gets the, oh, wow, hey, I spun the wheel and it, it, it landed on the right thing, you know? So we lucked out so hard getting into this hotel and everything has that aspect of all that has worked it's out it's been fabulous for us. yeah you know the, and the i want to be here again yeah. and next year better be exactly this or it's going to be not as yeah so perfect. that's just what's bitching for me now is just being here yeah and i'm seeing basically every people that I never get to see I'm seeing like right here and right now which is really awesome yeah 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 yeah. and it's awesome so yeah so we will uh we will wrap this up unless I suddenly find the reason a reason to record again because I'm going to be here all day tomorrow and and I am not and he is not so you never know something exciting could happen yep I may have to record some more. Ted Raimi dancing drunk in pink bikini underpants. Yeah, if you see, if something <laughs> happens tonight, if something happens tonight, how am I going to find out about it? I will give you the report. Oh my lord! Oh my god! All righty then. Pink bikini underpants. So Texas Frightmare. <laughs> Two twenty. I'm, I don't. 2023. 2023. I don't know words. <laughs> Thanks for listening. If you enjoy our show, please take a moment to rate and review us wherever you listen. If you send us a screenshot of your review, we'll send you a Bitchin' Boutique sticker. Everyone, Everyone loves stickers. stickers. Please subscribe or add us to your favorites wherever you get your podcasts. Subscribers get new episodes first and are also more attractive. Drop us a line anytime at pitneyandamelia at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Well, I guess we could talk a little bit about the dealer's room. The dealer's room, uh, well, like I mean, like we've talked about, like the, the con has grown into an enormous convention center. The dealer's room is so big that you can actually is that your phone Shit. yes it is i'll 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 start over <laughs> sorry let me turn off the sound this will okay. be an edit point okay yes okay <clears throat> okay and slate okay <laughs>